Nikola Tesla, a famous physicist, had plenty of ideas about how to obtain power, and one of them was getting it from the environment. It wasn't long before Tesla realized that a regular electric machine would not be able to directly get power from the space. This made him turn his efforts to construction of a so-called turbine. The turbine was very regular in shape, metal plates rotating inside this supporting case. Same shape comes up in a different patent which is this time called a dynamo electric machine. The dynamo that consists of metal plates rotated between the magnets producing electric current. Tesla's construction is different in the two key aspects. First of all, the scientist here the magnet that was bigger in diameter than the disk, so the magnet covered the disk entirely. Secondly, he divided the disk into sections with spiral curves coming out of the center towards the outer edge. Because the physicist had a magnet that entirely covered the disk, he used the entire surface of the disk to generate current. Not only did this increase the amount of generated current, but since the current was forced to move from the center towards the edge, it made all the current available to the outer contour. The motor begins to rotate when the fed with the flowing current. Both the generator and the electromotive disk appear to be installed inside the magnetic shell. Since the speed of the disk rotation grows, the current produced in such rotation threatens the magnets, which leads to generation of even more current. Such current first flows towards the disk of the motor, uh, which increases the speed of the system. At a certain point, the speed of the two disks becomes so high that the magnetic field generated by the current becomes strong enough to support the operation of the dynamo motor by itself. Anyway, dynamo is virtually a fuelless generator. It was born as creative invention, which utilizes one of the core principles of the nature, contraction for any action, and turns into a reaction that is supplementary with respect to the initial action. Instead of the reverse contraction that would slow down the system, the reaction of the environment adds power to the system.